going on you guys indiana harley guy here i am at an indian dealership and i am going to ride some new indians today i've never ridden an indian before in my life but today's going to be the day i'm going to ride whatever i can hopefully the chieftain and the challenger those are the two that i, two that I want to ride the most but uh yeah come along for the ride So we're here at Indian. I am getting ready to hop on this uh, beautiful Challenger right here. That is my cousin, Mr. Paul Six. He's hopping on another Challenger. And we're gonna take ourselves a little test ride today. All right. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Thing I do like about this so far, I like the seat height. I can actually get flat footed on this, and I'm not even wearing my boots, so that's definitely a plus. I can't get flat footed on my bike, my Harley. Really? Well, I just killed my first Indian. comfortable it is. I like it and this thing's got some power this thing will move yeah. this is comfy I like, I like the I like the fact that I can uh, that I might get flat-footed yeah. Like right yeah that'll take a little getting used to yeah it, it is it is kind of far forward
little water break because it's pretty hot here in southern Indiana. But now I'm going to hop on this Indian Chief and take it for a little spin. I can already tell I'm not a huge fan of the uh, peg placement on this bike. I do like the handlebar though. Not a fan of this one. You're not? I don't like the foot placement on this. You don't you don't like that one? My legs right on the exhaust. I do, I do like the riding position, but the seat's nowhere near as comfortable, and I hate, I, I hate the position of the pegs. So I do have to say, I do like this analog gauge right here. It's easy to see. It's nice and big and bright. I am a fan of that. on the one I've been wanting to ride the most this uh, Chieftain 2023 Indian Chieftain I love the color on this got the 116 this is the one I've been looking forward to all day although I really did like that Challenger all right take this thing for a spin
home. I apologize. Uh, I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked because uh, for some reason, I'd say a good 75% of what I filmed was, I don't know if it's something up with my GoPro or what, but it was files were corrupted and uh, yeah, didn't have it. So I do apologize for that. But a little bit about first bike I rode was the 2023 Indian Challenger. I am going to go ahead and say this. If I was able to afford another motorcycle right now, I would be going and buying one tomorrow. That was the most comfortable motorcycle I have ridden in my life, bar none. And that is amazing considering it's straight from the factory. And I've got almost $2,000 in upgrades on my Harley to get it comfortable. And it's still more comfortable than my Harley. Had all the power in the world. It's almost like that bike was built specifically for me. I loved it. It was amazing. Uh, that being said, I also rode a Chieftain and a uh, Scout Sport. I was very surprised by the Chieftain. I did not like that bike. It was extremely uncomfortable for me. It was killing my back. The handlebars felt like they were sitting on top of my kneecaps. It, it had plenty of power and it sounded good. It had nice, I like the bells and whistles that I had with it. But as far as comfort, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I'm sure there's things you can do to make them a little bit more comfortable for your needs. But for me, straight out of the gate from the factory, not that great. Same thing with the Scout. Uncomfortable as all get out. Stiff suspension. All of them do, do come stock with from the factory with Fox suspension. And on that Challenger and that Chieftain, the suspension was ooh, wonderful. Wonderful. Loved it. However, with the Chieftain, all the other stuff to make it uncomfortable kind of canceled out that comfortness of or the, the comfortability, 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 I'll spit it out in a minute, sorry, of the suspension. But that Challenger, oh my God, I want one. They are nice. It was gorgeous bike. It fit me good. Plenty of power. It was low to the ground, so I didn't have any issues getting flat footed. Yeah. So again, I do apologize for all or the lack of footage. I wanted to get a lot more, but most of my footage for some reason was corrupted. I don't know if it's because of the heat. It was got up to close to 103 today with a humidity of like 4 million percent it felt like but yeah thanks for watching guys go over to tiktok and facebook indiana harley guy like my facebook like my tiktok follow me over there on both of them subscribe and like this video subscribe to this channel you guys have a good day ride safe